done, the disassembly part. Uh, basically what happened is my clutch cable snapped when I was driving, actually on this exact road, yesterday in my, uh, in my other car, in my Legacy. Uh, thankfully I was able to cruise it into a parking lot, so I ended up just leaving it there overnight. Um, oh, side note, sorry if the camera's a little bouncy, I don't have it mounted to anything, but I was, um, I was able to leave it there overnight. Um, and last night, a friend, uh, he came and helped me get it all disassembled. Shout out to him, because if he wasn't there, uh, I probably would have gotten nowhere, because I was about to just give up and call it a night and have it towed back to my house. But anyways, the old clutch cable is out, so I'm gonna at least show you how to put the new one in, I hope, as long as I can get an angle on it. And um, you should be able to figure out how to take it out by doing the, the reverse of whatever I show you. So. See you there. All right, everybody. So this is pretty much what we're working with. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk kind of softly so the guys at the bus stop don't think I'm a madman. Um, basically, this end, this thing hooks on to the very top of your clutch pedal. This hooks on to the clutch fork in the engine bay. Um, so basically, what the game plan is, um, we need to fish it through the firewall under here, pull it up from the engine bay out there, um, and then just hook it into the clutch fork. Uh, there's also a couple other pieces. This grommet, um, not quite sure where that goes yet. We'll have to figure that one out. And then there's also two bolts, um, or uh, I'm sorry, two nuts that go on this threaded piece. And that's how you actually adjust your clutch once it's hooked up and ran through the firewall and stuff, but I'll show you that later. All right, hopefully you can see okay. I'm right now under the dash, clutch pedal brake gas. Yeah. And that is, the hole in the firewall that I'm talking about. When you pull it out, there's a rubber grommet there. You just, um, it, well, it's actually this rubber grommet right here. Um, so when you're pulling it out, we pulled it out through the engine bay. So I'm gonna try to feed it through the same direction um, from the cabin into the engine bay. Um, but you just have to take off that rubber grommet, just r pull it on it with a screwdriver, um, and then you'll be able to pull it out through. So I'm gonna do my best to fish this end through that hole, then pull it up from inside the engine bay. All right, out front of the car. Um, as you can see, right down here, kind of under the brake booster, you can barely see it, I'm wiggling it down there. That is the end that needs to come up towards the clutch fork. Um, basically, this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it, it's like a recessed washer. It goes on here and sits, there's a little divot in your clutch fork. And it sits right in that divot just like that. Now, um, the new piece came with, or sorry, the new clutch kit came with that for the hardware, but the quality of like this aftermarket clutch kit, uh, or clutch cable rather, is really really lacking like it's all plastic um, whereas the the OEM one is all um, like really nice light metal um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the old um, recess washer because I don't uh, I don't really want to use plastic pieces if I don't have to especially on a clutch which is something that takes a whole ton of pressure so um, now what you do, you take the two little bolts, these two bolts, thread them on the end of that. Um, do it really loose for now um, because you're gonna need some play to hook up the other end to the clutch pedal back under the car. There's the grommet. I'm gonna try to get that seated next. And then um, what's gonna happen is this piece right here, like the little hook hooked way up kind of on the top of the clutch pedal there 
you can barely see it from this angle, but there's a little hook that it hooks into. I'm on a time crunch here. This isn't the right way to do it, but I need to get this car rolling at the very least so I can drive it out of this parking lot. Um, there's the rubber grommet right there. It's not seated. I'll seat it later. Right here, the metal piece, metal like cylinder piece on the end of the uh, the cabin side of the clutch cable sits in this bracket. Um, it's supposed to like slide in and then there's a U-clip that goes there. Right now I just have it sitting in there. I'm not gonna use the U-clip. Again, I'll fix it later. And then way up there is the very end of the clutch cable that hooks onto the clutch pedal. Um, I'm gonna go back out front, kind of tighten things up, take out some of the slack, and hopefully it'll start up. All right, everyone, so as you can see, the car is running. We're in gear right now. Or, sorry, we're in neutral. Um, I have the clutch pushed down, and it seems like everything is working how it should. Um, again, this is like a little sketchy, but um, for now it's working, and that's all I want. I just need it to get me a few miles back to my house so I can fix it the right way. Um, but basically what I did, um, under here, this bracket, the flat part of the big metal piece attached to the end of the clutch cable goes on the bottom of the bracket. You just slide it in from the bottom. The hook hooks in at the top of the clutch pedal there. And then, sorry for the noise, but out front here, I just have this cranked almost all the way down. Um, so I'm just gonna put the lock washer on there. I'm sorry, the lock nut on there just to keep it from moving hopefully. And then as long as this make, takes, makes it home, I don't really care. Um, I just need to get it out of this parking lot for now. I'm sorry, if your clutch doesn't fully engage when your foot is off the pedal, you need to loosen this a little bit. If your car still doesn't go into gear when you push the, the pedal down, if it just grinds, you need to tighten that bolt a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this was helpful. I know it wasn't very precise. Um, but hopefully it'll give you a little more guidance than what I found on YouTube for it so far. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.